Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Courtney, if you don't know me already, and I'm from New Zealand. Welcome into the channel, you guys. So last week or the week before, we checked out the A10 Warthog, and I thought we'd do a follow-up video to that. This one is why no one wants to fight the A10 Warthog. So it's just a different video on the same aircraft. I absolutely loved the first video that I watched on it. Um, I will leave it up here. I described it as a badass plane. It is, it is badass. I really, really enjoyed the video, you guys. So go check it out if you do want to. I think this one's got more like videos and images of the actual aircraft flying. So I'm very, very, very excited. So yeah, leave any thoughts or comments down below. Um, big shout out to US Military News for this video. I'm gonna link their video down below. If you are into military videos, you're gonna love their channel. So go check them out. I will leave a link to their channel down below. But without any further ado, let's get into today's video. Oh, shit. Sure. Five reasons why no nation on earth wants to fight the A-10 Warthog in a war. Dang! Dang, that does sound slow too, hey? One simply does not mess with the A-10 Thunderbolt and get away with it. Call her the A-10 Thunderbolt, or more affectionately, A-10 Warthog, but the U.S. Air Force Close Air Support Avenger will take a beating and still find a way to shower you with her low-altitude armor-piercing ammo. Oh, that's the gun. The A-10 is that's one of the, the most gun. revered pieces Not of equipment engine. that our fighting men and women have at their disposal. And its track record that's proves the it. Gun. The 30mm GAU 8A cannon that sits on the front of the A-10 with its barrel protruding from the nose is one of the heaviest automatic cannons ever mounted on an aircraft. Since the pilots are protected by titanium armor, which also protects parts of the flight control system, real, the A-10 can linger longer in the battle zone in all kinds of conditions, but including low visibility and darkness. It's so scary. The A-10 so Thunderbolt has that. earned its reputation so thanks to the bravery of her pilots and her performance above the battlefield. We're proud to give a little respect back to those who've served our great country and share a few of the reasons why the A-10 Warthog is an aircraft that should never be taken lightly. Bro. One, armament. What? What the hell? Here's the total count. A 30 millimeter GAU 8A cannon, up to 16,000 oh, pounds of mixed ordnance on eight underwing and three under fuselage pylon stations, a 500 pound MK82 and 2,000 pound MK84 series low high drag bombs, incendiary cluster bombs, effects munitions, mine dispensing munitions, an AGM 65 Maverick and AIM 9 Sidewinder missiles, what? plus a Gatling gun that that's specifically designed to fire high explosive, incendiary, and armor piercing that depleted is, uranium rounds at insane. a rate of 3,900 rounds that per minute. That's a serious oh. aircraft with a bad attitude. And you want to shoot at this gun, bad beast? Dude. Good luck with that. That's Two, survivability. That is terrifying. That sound alone is The terrifying. A-10 has a honeycomb panel design that makes up the leading edges of the wing and tail, making them more resistant to battle damage. Yeah, we learned Interestingly, about this in the, the front video. landing gear Insane. retracts under the wings while still sticking somewhat out of the fuselage, giving the Warthog a way to touch down with its landing gear up. This, is high, this aircraft can survive multiple direct hits from armor piercing and high explosive projectiles, while its self-sealing fuel cells are protected by internal and external foam. Like in 2003, when Captain Kim Campbell successfully brought her Warthog back from a close air support mission near Baghdad, her 75th Fighter Squadron A-10 was hit by ground fire, taking extensive damage to the starboard vertical stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer, aft fuselage, and engine. Upon sustaining That's the hit, the airplane tank. became uncontrollable, rolling left, nose down. After trying several ways to regain control, she engaged the backup mechanical flight control system. The jet responded, and with some help from her wingman, she landed back at her forward base. Wow. That's crazy. 
Hey, did you guys see that? Three, range. At around 2,580 miles, the Warthog's flight range could get you from New York City to Los Angeles, California. Thanks to two General Electric TF-34 GE100 turbofan engines, the aircraft can achieve about 450 miles an hour, or Mach 0.75, mm -hmm. making the Thunderbolt fast enough to be ultra deadly. I thought it was slow though, right? Four, support. The A-10 Warthog has immeasurable value to our U.S. troops on the ground and plays a critical role in our military strategy in the Middle East and around the world. Arizona Representative Ruben Gallego said, I'm glad we were able to keep this fleet fully operational and I will continue to fight to preserve this aircraft to ensure that the warfighter on the ground gets their air support. The A-10 was specifically designed for close air it's support crazy. missions. Its large and varied ordnance, long loiter time above the battlefield, accurate weapons delivery and unfriendly field capability are more than well developed look at, look to be at, at the, the forefront of the ground forces around it. As the U.S. Air Force says, the low altitude safety and targeting enhancement upgrade provided computerized weapon aiming equipment, an autopilot and a ground collision warning system, which includes multi-band communications, global positioning system, and inertial navigation systems, infrared and electronic countermeasures against air-to-air -air and air-to-surface Why threats. wouldn't you want this In other aircraft, words, right? try to shoot at our ground troops and we will not only shoot back, but unleash hell on you exactly where you stand. Five, grit. Bro. These, these images and videos are absolutely incredible, oh my goodness. A-10 pilots have night vision capability to conduct missions during any hour after dark. Imagine the A-10 seeing this aircraft at also designed with night. a fast maintenance turnaround time in mind to keep it on the battlefield. Things like damaged wing skins that can be replaced in the field, the cannon creating so much smoke while it's being fired that it looks like a forest fire, and a Gatling gun that fires rounds the size of beer bottles makes the it Warthog sounds. deserve its moniker the cross of death. That sounds Certainly insane. the most important thing to remember is the pilots who fly these winged wonders and the ground crews that maintain them. Our fighting men and women are the real heroes and the A-10 Thunderbolt is just another tool in the fight for freedom and a tool that works quite well, thank you. Contemporary <laughs> Air Force F-15 and F-16 pilots like to joke that A-10s don't have instrument panel clocks, they have calendars. At the <laughs> time, the Air Force's high-tech fighter faction, which included most of Air Force leadership, considered the twin-engined straight-wing attack airplane an anachronistic dud, unfit Dang. to operate in the modern battlefield wow, where it was supposed to kill Russian tanks. Whether you're talking about a sophisticated stealth bomber or a flying <laughs> machine gun, it's never easy to bring a new warplane into being. How the A-10 program survived its first few years is a complicated story. Former A-10 pilot and author Colonel Arden B. Dahl, retired, contends that the Thunderbolt II made it to production by prevailing in two key political battles. Between the maneuverability and the survivability, mm, the A-10 Fleet Fighter Squadron has taken on Operation Enduring Freedom, Desert Storm, and ISIS wherever they may be, making it one of our best weapons in the fight for freedom around the globe. Amazing. It's badass. I can't even, I cannot describe it in another way. I mean, come on now. Look at this, look, I don't know if it's called a gun or a, a turret, I can't remember what it's called, but that, at the front, like, come on, that's so freaking scary, dude. And the sounds that it makes as well, is that, oh my gosh, imagine hearing that, imagine hearing that. You're like, oh, I'm dead next. If you were getting shot at by one of those... You, it would be a split second, I feel. Like, you wouldn't even be able to hear it. You would already be dead, right? Right. You'd already be dead. You wouldn't even be able to process the sound if it's getting aimed towards you, right? These images are insane, these videos. It doesn't look real. It just does not look real. Look at that. Amazing, absolutely amazing.
took this maneuver it's just insane it's insane to me wow what an awesome 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 video that was so so good i loved watching that i loved watching that what did you guys think that was awesome that was awesome apologies if i don't get any of the terms correct um i'm not like super i'm not super clued up on the the, the names of things in terms of things but I'm, I'm doing my best and i hope you understand what i'm talking about when i talk about like a gun at the front or um i don't know it's, it's, things along those lines i hope you understand what i'm trying to say but um if you want to correct me down below you definitely can i think someone has corrected me on the on the front i think it's a turret i think i can't remember but that turret slash gun i don't know i forgot what it was called but it's so scary i think that's the first time i've heard that sound when the video first started i thought it was the engine and i was like oh that engine that sounds very slow doesn't it it was the gun it was the gun and i'm like oh that's not a that's not a slow that's not slow if that's a gun that is not slow that is not slow at all <laughs> that sound look it sounds so good though like i can't even lie oh and also on my discord after the other video um one of my awesome viewers let me know that the gun at the front wasn't put onto the plane instead the plane was made around the gun like it was designed around the gun which it, it, that blows my mind right it's a gun with a plane on it <laughs> essentially essentially that's what that's what one of my awesome awesome viewers told me so that's crazy that's that's badass that is badass um and the survivability factor that really um that really blows my mind as well and seeing those pictures that we saw um today uh you know with the plane it had heavy damage to it heavy damage but it was still able to land all good you know that's that's impressive that is impressive and i think that's very um that's a super important factor especially if you're doing dangerous missions right so amazing uh, absolutely amazing i really really enjoyed that video guys let me know what you guys thought down below um again i will leave the other 18 video that i watched down below as well if you're interested that was my first like introduction to the aircraft this was like my first time hearing it and looking at the images and the videos so i hope you guys enjoyed this as much as i did thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye guys the store, control gun the smoke They tell me to quit, don't understand why I don't talk They help me forget that this world is so cold I don't even know what I'm chasing no more Tell me what I want, just keep searching on It's never enough, come back to call